live with Dominic Polian here at the uh, end of the game. Ebbsfleet against Dartford and uh, a 1-0 win. Felt like a, t- a tight game, Dom. How was it to play in? Um, tough, um, enjoyable and just a lot to get the three points. Um, I put a lot of work in and as you've got to see, you know, everyone's grafting right until the end to the final whistle. We're not going out there for a draw. Um, we've got the three points today. I mean, there was hard work all around the pitch, Dartford as well, but you and Rakesh Bigham, I mean, I know you're strikers by trade, but you have to do a lot of tracking back, a lot of tackling to be done today as yeah, well. Yeah, definitely. It was, a, it was a great team effort. Um, we knew it was going to be hard, we knew it was going to be difficult. You know, they were a good side, one of the better sides in the league, and we knew it was going to be a tough game, and it, the game was going to, I thought, I always felt it would be down to fine margins. So, I'm just delighted. And looking at the goal scorer as well, Ben Chapman comes on at centre half, turns up a centre forward, slots the ball home. Decent yeah, finish. Yeah, definitely, definitely. I, I, I give him that. It's, it's always nice when you know the team chipping in with goals, and you know that just shows the quality. You know, it's not always the strikers that will score. Sometimes the midfielders, and today he happens to be a defender. So delighted, delight for the three points and delight for chaps. We'll talk to Dennis about it in a few minutes, but it looked like Dartford more or less matched you tactically in a, in a sort of 3-4-3. Three, three. Is that is that the way you saw it, or is it is it a lot more fluid than that? I mean, I kind of felt so. I felt that like, you know they thought they can they would go um, match us up, but um, it was a good it was a good test. Um, I enjoyed it. It was tough. It wasn't easy, not at all. Um, two, I thought anyone that would watch the game, two teams going at it, both coming for the win, and you know it's just paid off for us. You're up to second now as well. At this league table, I mean, I, I can imagine in May we'll probably still be talking about one or two points between the two teams. I mean, are you aware, sort of game to game, how, how tough, how close it is at the top? Yeah, definitely. Um, it's tight. But as players, I feel like, you know, you look one week, someone's second, you look the next game, they're fifth. You look so, just take it game by game. We've got to try, go out there and win as many games as possible and let the table take care of itself. I guess it's about putting run together now, is it for you? Yeah, for sure. You know, we that's if you know you can get a couple of wins, keep just winning. It's all about winning. It's all about game by game, not getting too carried away with a win, not getting too carried away with a bad result. Just keep chipping away, keep working hard, and I think the rest will take care of itself. Away at Hemel next weekend. I mean, they're not in great shape themselves, or well, we didn't think so until they went one away at St Albans City today. So it, this is this division seems very very competitive. Yeah, definitely. You know, look at last week. You know, we. We slipped up there. Anyone's capable of beating anyone. It's about who turns up on the day and, and, and does the business. So we'll be looking to do the same, get a little run going. If not, definitely just keep plugging away. And for you personally, enjoying your football here? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, it's good. And we've got a good team. I like the way we play, style of play. Um, you know, try to score. If you can't score, try to assist. If you can't assist, try to put a good performance in and help the team win. So I'm just going to keep trying to do that. And again, see what it takes me. As you can tell, I'm a bit knackered. But, yeah. <laughs> well, we saw you put the work in as well, so I can understand that. And from a fan's point of view, make no bones about it. This is the big one between Ebbsfleet and Dartford. You're sending some, uh, well, all those Ebbsfleet fans home uh, very happy indeed. And what difference does that make to the players? No, definitely. You could, you could feel today something was a bit different. A few extra fans in there, the, the, the warm-up, everything, like the atmosphere that the fans created. You could tell there was a little bit... A little bit extra in it and you know it's only right as players that we go out there and do our bit and send them home happy and i think we've done that today great to speak to you thanks no very much for joining us straight Cheers. after the uh, the full-time whistle still in his shorts so i hope he's not going to cool down too much